Dr. Wynn, I, I didn't expect you in this morning. Oh, um, this is Dr. Loomis, the man I was telling you. Oh, yes. It's a pleasure to meet you, Doctor. It will be wonderful to have you back at the hospital. Dr. Wynn, there's something you should know. Dawn, I'd like you to get Dr. Loomis anything he needs. Files, tests, records of every treatment we've ever administered to a former patient of ours, Michael Myers. Michael Myers? Is something wrong? I just received a phone call. That girl, Jamie Lloyd, her body was found this morning near Haddonfield. Notify the Haddonfield Sheriff. Tell them we're on the way. I want the entire staff on alert. We go to Code Red Lockdown for 24 hours. If that maniac is really out there, I plan to bring him back alive. Yo, G, what's up? Barry's my homeboy from Chicago. Yes, that Barry Sims. Beth and I are down on this gig. Danny, look, you just bring the posse tonight and we'll hook you up. Peace. Doesn't Danny look cute dressed up as his Uncle Tim? Great. Now I've got a six-year-old gang member for a son. Perfect. This is the famous Tim Strode stomach pounder. You down for the challenge? Hit me, G. <laughs> Good try, damn man. You better stick to orange juice. Shitheads. Facing my property. <laughs> Showed them. John, they were just kids. Kids, my dear Deborah. What's ruining this country? Everywhere you go, it's the same damn thing. There's no goddamn respect. <sighs> I rest my case. Cara, you never pass that exam on an empty stomach. Cognitive therapy, emotional disorders. What are they teaching you in college these days? The art of going crazy? This is called psychology, Mom. Living in this house is enough to drive anyone crazy. Oh, yeah? Well, who the hell asked you to come back here in the first place? Better get Danny to school. Doesn't show her face around her own family for five years, then comes back and expects us to roll out the red carpet. You think going to college is going to make a few mistakes, girl? Huh? Please. They offer, Dad. Let's go, Danny. Carol, wait, please. John, can't we just sit down for once and try to be a family? Sorry, Mom. Oh, that's it, Deborah. Yeah, just keep slipping her the cash. You know, while you're at it, I got a great idea. Here. Here, why don't you give her all of our goddamn money? Why don't you leave her alone? Nothing ever changes, does it? You can wake up. I got news for you, girl. Before you came around, everything was going fine. Till you landed on our doorstep. You and that little bastard of yours. I see only one bastard in this house. Danny. Get away from her. You shut up. Stay out of you here. For you. Please don't. You ever talk to me like that again? And so help me, God. You understand? Another episode of Father Knows Best at the Strode House. What the hell happened this time? <gasps> What's gotten into you? Just glad to see you, that's all. You guys okay? Tonight's the night we bring some life back into this town. Shit, Beth, why do we have to be the ones to organize this friggin' fair? I mean, it's only Halloween. How many times do I have to tell you? Not a no, Danny, you know. Grandpa didn't really hurt me, right? Right, Mom. Well, you better go catch your bus. 
But tonight when you come home, we'll go trick-or-treating, okay? Okay. I love you, Danny. Love you, Mommy. <laughs> Give me a squeeze. lives across the hall from you. Why, are you interested? Yeah, right. He's always staring out his window. Last night I caught him watching me. That must be Tommy. On a weirdness scale of 1 to 10, he rates about a 13. Supposedly some scary shit happened to him when he was a kid. Messed up his head pretty bad. He's harmless, though. Probably just lonely. Or horny. Something you probably haven't felt in a while. Tim. Happy Halloween, Mrs. Blankenship! best part about living in that boarding house is that crazy old lady wouldn't hear a truck drive through her living room. No, please. Look, you've got to listen to me. They're coming. They're coming. Yeah, so they're coming. They're coming. Don't tell me. Your name is Joan. Joan of Arc, and you're also hearing voices, right? Come on now. Who's coming? It's Michael. Michael Myers. Someone, anyone, help me. Dr. Loomis, are you out there? Can you hear me, Dr. Loomis? It's Michael. Michael Myers. Bus 611 from Pontiac. Someone, anyone, help me. Dr. Loomis, are you out there? Can you hear me, Dr. Loomis? I need your help. God, please, help. May I have your attention, please? Bus 34 from Peoria, Russellville, and Gardner, with crew service to Chicago, Illinois, will be arriving in five minutes. Ticketed passengers, please wait inside the door until arrival of bus number 34. Can I help you, sir? Can you tell me if a bus arrived from Pontiac last night? Sure did. Are you looking for someone? Thank you. 